Every cat parent, no matter how much they love spending time with their kitty, at some point has to leave them. Maybe you have to go to work. Maybe you've got a vacation booked. Maybe you're just nipping to the store because you realize that you ran out of your cat's favorite food. Either way, you can't bring your fur baby with you, so you have to leave them alone in the house until you get back. Many people think that this wouldn't pose a problem. After all, cats are famously independent creatures. They'll be fine until you get back. Even if you're gone for more than a day or two, there's no real reason to worry, right? Wrong. Your cat will definitely notice. And statistically, the longer you leave them alone, the more trouble they can get themselves into. So we've gathered top eight most common things that cats get in danger with when left alone. So always make sure you're not making the following mistakes. Trust us, your kitty will thank you for this. Mistake number one. One of the most dangerous things that your kitty can experience when home alone is also one of the hardest for you as a cat parent to control. Boredom. A bored cat can get into all kinds of trouble, no matter how well you think you've secured the house. Your cat should have access to toys that encourage solo play. Puzzle feeders, which require your cat to solve some kind of puzzle in order to gain access to delicious treats, are a good way to keep your cat occupied. So are toys that are equipped with springs so that your cat can bat them back and forth and have them always spring back. Never leave your kitty home alone without some way to entertain themselves. Mistake number two. Here's an old joke. A cat walks into a bar and asks the barman for a glass of milk. The barman pours out a shot and slides it across the bar to the cat. The cat swipes the glass, knocks it off the bar top, and then demands another. This joke relies on the listener knowing about the feline tendency to knock over any object that is left upright on a flat surface. In real life, however, the cat in the bar would be potentially in a lot of trouble, and not just because they probably don't have their wallet with them to pay for those drinks. When your cat knocks something made of glass or china off of a counter, like most people's drinking glasses and crockery, then it's liable to break into multiple razor-sharp shards. If these get into your fur baby's delicate paw pads, then they could cause severe problems for your cat. To prevent this avoidable tragedy, ensure that all breakable items are secured before you leave the house. Mistake number three. You hopefully already know that you need to leave your kitty with a full water dish when you leave the house. But how many dishes do you leave? One ought to be sufficient if you're only leaving for a few hours. But if you're leaving overnight or longer and you haven't booked a cat sitter, then you should always leave more than one source of water. Not only will your kitty need more water while you're gone, but you want to make sure that they have more than one source in case one of them gets knocked over or your cat takes against it for some reason. Cats can be picky about their water sources. A cat can, in theory, survive for two to three days without water, but in practice, after only 24 hours, they will start experiencing severe symptoms of dehydration, potentially causing damage to their delicate vital organs. Mistake number four. A proper source of food is also important. As with all animals, if your cat goes too long without eating, their body will start burning the fat stored in their body for energy. However, in order to be converted into energy, these fat cells need to be processed by your cat's liver. As obligate carnivores, cats aren't adapted to a fatty diet. As their liver struggles to process it, the excess fat can build up causing a potentially dangerous liver condition called fatty liver disease or hepatic lipidosis. Unfortunately, your cat doesn't know this. Cats will often stop eating if they are under stress, which is more likely in a cat who has been left home alone, or if they think their food has gone stale. To protect your kitty's health, be sure and always get a cat sitter if you're planning to be gone for more than just an overnight. Mistake number five. A lot of cats really enjoy playing with hair ties or elastic bands. These things are small, and because of their unusual shape and elastic qualities, they will often seem to jump away when your kitty pounces on them, simulating the sensation of chasing prey. But there's a problem. 
The ability of hair ties and elastic bands to get tangled up around themselves means that these objects can very easily become small enough to get into your cat's mouth. If your cat is pretending that they're prey, then the logical response to this would be to swallow. The elastic band or hair tie can then get tangled up inside your cat's digestive system, causing an intestinal blockage that might require surgery to remove. Your kitty should never play with elastic bands or hair ties unless closely supervised, but because these items are small, they are easily dropped on the floor or knocked off counters. If you're planning to leave your kitty alone, be sure and check around your house for these items and tidy them away in a drawer if you find them. Mistake number six. We all like to be eco-friendly, and one popular piece of advice to help conserve energy and save the planet is to make sure you turn your heating and or air conditioning off after you leave the house. This tip also saves on bills, but spare a thought for your poor kitty. Although their fur offers them some protection against extreme temperatures, your cat is not immune to hot or cold. If the temperature of your house sinks below 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 degrees Celsius, then it will become too cold for your cat. If it rises above 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius on the other hand, then your fur baby risks overheating. It's important to ensure that your cat has a source of heat in cold weather and a place to cool down in hot weather. Mistake number seven. You ever spend some time playing with your cat by dangling a piece of string or a feather wand and watching them chase after it? Chasing small, fast-moving objects like the end of a dangled piece of string allows your kitty to make use of the hunting instincts that, in the wild, would be vital to their survival. But the game does come with one hidden danger that you may not be aware of. Playing with your kitty like this runs the risk of accidentally training them to treat anything long and string-like as a toy. Bad enough when they start chasing your untied shoelaces, but it can get a lot worse if your cat starts to treat electrical wires or charging cords the same way. Not only does your cat risk damaging them, but if they manage to chew through a wire that is connected to the mains, then there's a risk of them getting electrocuted. To avoid this danger, make sure you never leave your kitty home alone unless all chargers and wires have been hidden or placed out of reach. Mistake number eight. So, you've prepped the house. You've cleared away all electrical cords, glasses, hair ties, and anything else that looks even remotely dangerous. You've left appropriate amounts of food and water and a plethora of toys to entertain your fur baby until you get back. But seconds after you leave, your kitty wanders into your open closet and the door swings shut behind them, trapping them in a small enclosed space with no food or water. If you're lucky, and only going away for an overnight, then you'll get back to find that your fur baby is hungry, thirsty, and very annoyed, but otherwise fine. Maybe they'll have peed on your shoes, but if you're gone for longer than that and haven't arranged for a sitter, then you could come home to find your kitty severely dehydrated and requiring a vet visit. Or worse, you could open that closet door to find that you no longer have a cat at all. To avoid this tragedy, always ensure that if you're leaving your cat alone for more than a few hours, you either securely close or prop open all doors in the home to avoid any possibility of your kitty becoming trapped. For more advice on how to care for your fur baby, check out this video on signs that your cat may not actually love you.